A survey has taken up eighth graders. They were asked how many texts they sent the day before. The results are below. Construct a frequency table and histogram. So when constructing a frequency table, what we're going to do is set up some kind of a category and say how many times numbers appeared in that category. So in this case, the category is going to be the number of texts. So the smallest number we have is zero. So that means we're going to have to start it at zero. And the highest number we have looks to be 205. In general, you probably don't want any more than 10 or 11 categories. So if I take this 205 and divide it by the 10 categories that I want, that's going to be about 20. So I think in our categories, we're going to go with a length of 20. So let's set up our frequency table. So we're going to have the number of texts. And then how many times that number appears. So that would be the frequency. So we're going to set up a table. And as I said, we're going to go by 20. So starting with 0, to get 20 numbers in this category, this will go until 19. So 0 to 19. So then the next category will start at 20. So notice that the difference between the two is 20. So then 20 to 39, 40 to 59, just adding 20 each time, 60 to 79, 80 to 99, 100 to 119, 120 to 139, okay, a couple more here, 140 to 159, 160 to 179, okay, 180 to 199, we'll need one more, and then 200 to 219. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 categories, that's, that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is go through our list and see how many numbers fall within each of these. So I'm going to go through, I think I'm going to go one by one and just kind of mark them out. So starting at the 120, that's going to be between 120 and 139. Okay, 202 is in the last one. 44 is in the third one. So just going through one by one, so we have 7, 3, and 4. If you don't have anything in that category, that's a frequency of 0. 3, 4, 2, 1, 0, 0, and 2. So I'm just going to add these up to make sure I didn't miss any numbers anywhere. So 7, 3 is 10, uh, 14, 17, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 26. Okay, so everyone's here. We have everyone accounted for. So now at this point, we're going to set up our histogram. So the number of texts is going to go on the horizontal axis, and the frequency is going to go on the vertical. So I'm going to mark out all of these different categories.
it's just squeezing all that in there. So those are all my categories. And then the highest frequency I have is 7. So I'm going to mark out 7 on the frequency. Always make sure you label. So along the horizontal, this is going to be the number of text. And along the vertical is going to be the frequency. So now at this point, we're just going to mark out how high each category is. So between 0 and 19 text, we found it to be 7. Next one is 3, and the next one is 4. So at that first mark, I'm going to do a 7. And then a three and a four. Make sure your bars have the same width as you're going through. Okay, 60 to 79 had nothing, so there's no bar of any height. Next one was three, then four, then two, one. Zero, zero, and finally two. Okay, so this is your frequency histogram that represents 